and you know it's what you're going to see in this video is it's total completely uh, total yeah so we're negotiating with the insurance right now on how that's going to go down the, the you know most important thing is that we're both okay i was really concerned as you'll see in the video initially because this is brandy's side uh, my side didn't take a hit I'm built like home. that for sure i did uh, manage with my leg to cave that uh, yeah. console in anyway i'm so, built glam is tough folks yeah. so i'm okay so anyway check out the video and at the end we're gonna tell you about the shocks because that's what this video was supposed to be right. it was actually supposed to be our review of the shocks and we did get a chance to uh actually drive the car and test out the shocks we'll talk about that more hello everybody i am a shorty mouse and i close my little uh can you hear me no, I'm not coming through your choppy, am I? Um, I will, I will. I was just was going to say that it looks well. So aside from like a uh, blocking sign and allowing you to kind of see the the different Am I coming through your choppy? Changes in the terrain. Um, oh, clear. Too clear. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, it's just a in call zero choppy. Anyways, um, it uh also. Oh, have left like this when you're having a real sweaty, messy, ugly face day. Anyhow, we are getting ready to take the uh, razor out for a little, a little test run because we had, um, well, first of all, because uh, Hubby has not really doing much in this car at all. Hey, uh, we gotta pause and come back. Alright, let's roll. Alright, unfortunately, we're missing one of our fam. Um, this is back at camp. We had an issue with the fuel pump, so, gosh. Um, they at least a really good ride yesterday afternoon, so, you know, at least Pam got that. She flew in for this, so that sucks. But anyways, on to the good, better, brighter part of this. This is last day, Glamis, uh, Camp Razor Halloween time out here, 2020. And we are in the Razor right now, our new 2020 Pro. Reason being, this guy hasn't had much seat time in this car at all, because he can't get him away from, uh, the Canam, right? But this car feels... Freaking awesome. I love this car. Yeah, and now it feels a little bit even more because what we've done is our buddies, our family, our friends at MTS Off Road have uh, put their magic hands on this car. Uh, let me just say, from the amount of riding that I was able to do on it uh, so far, it is dialed so far. And I mean, there's going to be a little more tweaks that, along the road, but that's why we're riding now. So tell me what we're doing. Uh, so basically, we're going to go. We're going to go out and do it and see what it feels like. Um, I. Uh, we had a bit of uh, an issue with uh, bottom out, so we had cranked up the compression quite a bit. And uh, then what we had is a little bit of a harsh ride and still a little bit of bottom out. So what we've done now is we've brought up the crossovers yep. to deal with that bottom out. And then we're going to see how it feels and then we'll probably back off some compression and see how that goes. Yeah, so we uh, do that right now. This little whipped out section here. We're going to do some actual riding, but right now we're going to do this, right? Yep. To see where we're at and how it feels to you. See if we get any little bottom out issues or if we get any buck. Buck, buck, roost. Buck, buck, roost. Hopefully not. Right. I'm going to have to relocate this. Uh, oh, yeah. It was good. It was good to me. It didn't feel back in. It didn't feel like the back end broke loose. It felt controllable, Sue, so would you say? Definitely. We Traffic left. We right now.
this Razor came out of that path, team boat into Darren and Brandy. That's the path that came down. There's our tracks. All right, so what's going on? Well, it's been a terrible morning so far. A little bit of carnage. So anyway, here's bad, bad morning. Yeah. Bad morning. But we're going to do what we do. But it didn't happen on the first day. Everybody here is still alive. That's right. So here's what happened. This. I just need you to sign some paperwork. All right, just there is a few form just for our information, just for our, sure. our, our report and stuff, okay? Okay. So we got all this action going on right here. Pretty sure it's total. Yeah. So that's what's going on. I don't have a lot of words right now. It's been a rough day. Making sure Brandy's okay right now. How are you feeling? I feel like I feel I'm not. I feel good. I really do. I feel like this is just stuff. So considering everything, I feel good. Yeah, it's been bad worse, and I feel good. Yeah, no Last name is Hoover. H O O. happened right here a little brutal um, yeah it, we hit so hard that both of our shields were actually laying in front of the car and on the ground <sighs> Did you, uh, did you, uh, both of our face shields were laying in front of the car on the ground. It, like I said, uh, Brandy's helmet was on the ground when we, we ran out to the car to get her back home. Uh, yes? Nope. Yeah, it's right here. Alright, so we gotta go get, go back. Brandy, they took Brandy to, back to the trailer, to camp, and we gotta go get a trailer. So... Unfortunately, everybody's ride just got ruined and that car got smashed, dude. So, we gotta go. We're gonna go grab a trailer. We'll bring you along for the ride. Alright, so we're back at camp. We're gonna grab this trailer. And see what we can do. That's good enough, we'll just, we don't need this. Alright, here's what's going down. We're over here to try to get this car on. Right up, both, uh, good with that. I think it'll 
drive up. Wait on the back? Yeah. Let's stand on the back. We got some fatties here. Absolutely nothing. Look at this. Roger's Look at that. Win. Nice. Drive it up. <laughs> I bet we could get it on two wheels on the I'll bet you could drive back to camp. <laughs> Probably. But you gotta get on here anyway. Yeah, I gotta get on there anyway. Might as well do it. Driving it. Uh, I'll be in DJ. Travis. Travis. You drive it. You're lightest. Yeah. The trailing arm might drag the ground or axle, but we'll see. It'll pull out. Looks like it. Looks like it's just going to scoot back. Well, it Oh, actually, the axle went under this. The axle. Yeah. Can we, dig a, can we dig a trench and bury the? Watch yourself! Watch yourself! Watch yourself! Yeah. I don't know what happened. We were just driving down the road, and the wheel fell off. <laughs> All right. I don't care. So thanks, guys. I s so appreciate it. Do anything for the Sandy crew. This video was intended to be a review, uh, a video where we drive the car and talk about the shock. So basically, a review of the video, uh, a review of the shock turn we just got, right? Just got it two yeah. days before. And uh, we did get a chance to drive it. You did for sure. Mm -hmm. That's part of that. Is in another video previous to this video. Uh, I mean, what'd you think? I thought it was um, a noticeable night and day difference. Remember, guys, we're coming from base models, so we don't have, I mean, these are the Walker Evans, um, which they have no... No, there's no, so these shocks have no bottom out control. They're kind of, you know, they're the, the budget car. Right, but the car was awesome. I'm not saying anything about that, but it definitely had some issues as far as uh, needing some shock tuning. I'm, I'm coming from this car. Yeah. Right, so that car, there are no G outs. You can hit it hard and things just work. MTS off road, thank you guys. Yeah, so I knew that there was going to be some magic happening. Yeah, um, I just didn't know how awesome it was going to be. I wish we could have really gotten out and put it to the test the way we wanted to. We will on the next car because you know we don't stop, but um, we did definitely get some ride time in with this one. And I'm going to tell you right now, like I said, noticeable difference night and day. Uh, we had to crank it all the way stiff, right, um, to, so that you wouldn't bottom out like the day before, before the shocks were done. Yeah. So basically what happened is I went on a quick little ride. Uh, we had uh, set the compression to zero all the way around because we were in the mountains. I hit a G out. Uh, broke your back. Bro <laughs> not broke my back, but definitely, you know, bottomed it out. So basically at, after that, um, well, okay, so two things. It G'd out. Mm -hmm. And then I cranked the compression all the way because I knew I wanted to hit it as hard as I could and see what we had. Uh, that, that's no comfortable. That's yeah, no fun for it was. It was pretty rough. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't horrible, horrible rough, but it was pretty rough. Uh, but a bigger thing is, and we ended up with a lot of uh, rebound. And um, the other thing that happened is, you know, lack of control. So ground uh, tires off the ground, car walking around, buck buck roosting, all controllability over the place. not yeah. as good as it should be. So. Uh, and then, of course, whoops, you know, out of, out of shape, ass the end of the car, trying to come around and... Kiss the front. Kiss the front. Didn't work so out. after that, um, a lot of the, you know, this car uh, in its configuration, 64 inches wide, no bottom out control. There are limitations, but let me tell you, it, it uh, came around. It, it was did come car. around. It felt like a different car. It really did. So obviously, like we already talked about the fact that they had redone completely, redone the chassis on this uh, 2020 RZR Pro, right? Um, first year, first model, redesigned completely. So it felt like they were actually taking some, uh, taking clues or cues from the Can-Am, right? So it felt good all around, good car, 181 horsepower right out of the box. 
Shock tune made the difference though. So MTS off road, you guys are amazing. I knew you would be. Thank you, thank you. We'll be yeah. back. And rugged, we uh, we're pulling all of our communications out for the next car. For the next car. So next car, let's talk about that briefly. We're not going to talk about what that's going to be. Um, um, there's availability issues on certain cars right now, so we are working through that process. We're not in a big hurry because we know that that's what the insurance company wants right now. They want us to get anxious, take their initial offer. We're not not happening. Um, we, we still have this car. Yeah, we're we are getting ready to go to Glamis. We're taking this car only, but we'll be back and we will be building we'll be another car. We'll be back and we'll be stronger. So doing it again. We're what doing it again. So stay tuned because there's a whole nother car coming up. A whole nother car. I mean, what do you guys think we should get? How about that? Leave a comment. Let us know what you'd like oh, to see well, us yeah. in. Um, that that that's gonna leave it to no budget because. Well, gonna... I'm not just. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm saying like let us know that would be an interesting conversation so thank you guys for subscribing we appreciate it stay tuned we got a lot coming up peace